right, welcome back, Slayers. Here's another tips and tricks video by Neva.Kai. You should, this is just gonna be some of the stuff you should know before you get into the closed alpha. Um, that way you're getting in there and you're getting a head start on some people and just kind of knowing what you're gonna do. Right now I'm gonna do a quick, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a long video, but I'm gonna cut it up into two. So I'm gonna do the um, this right here, uh, not that one. I'm gonna do Hunt for Sheltered Frontier. This is gonna give me more um, resources, so hopefully I'll get um, it, uh, hopefully I'll get a shrike to fight. If not, I'll just requeue and fight a shrike and kind of go over the some of the tips and tricks. Shrike will be one that you'll want to farm a lot when you first start to get that gear that'll get you to the next through the next hurdle because the shrike gear um, has the right amount of res uh, resistances to get you into the harder bosses and kind of is the kind of good way to go so definitely farm the shrike all right so once what you do is you just come to here kind of bulletin board hold e we're going to hunt the foot down and we're going to do some resource hunting first and then we are going to fight a shrike and i'm actually queuing solo so that nobody's trying to rush us and we can actually get a good farm on So you'll know you're queued up right now, and it, this will probably be fixed. And you'll know you're getting ready to go to the load screen and stuff when you can't move your character. Um, it'll basically lock you in place and make it so you can't move. So again, when you're in here, I'll go over the UI real quick. Um, there we go. So you can't change your loadout, but you can check your quest to see what you need. I don't really need anything there. Remember, you can put your weapons away. If you put your weapons away, then you pop your sprint. If you notice the, you got my green health bar. The one underneath that is the sprint bar and it's not going down. If I bring my weapons out and start sprinting, it's gonna start using that resource. All right, so these right here, anytime you see those wisps, you wanna run over them, they are huge. You'll use those to make all your potions. So right from the get-go, you wanna be running over as many of those as possible. Um, then right there was some um, uh, ore. And if you watch in the bottom left-hand corner, it'll pop up what I'm farming. And so, Here's another wisp again, just run over these. There's one over to the left. I'm not gonna get all the wisps. I just kinda wanna show you a variety of the resources that you can gather. Uh, let's see, so there's another wisp. Sometimes they're tricky to run over. Uh, this right here. So if anything kinda stands out in the background, you wanna go check it to see if you get a, um, if you get like the um, toggle to farm it, to gather it. So like this right here, it kind of stands out. So you go over and press E. Sometimes there's like red mushrooms on the side of trees that you can farm. Um, all these things you kind of want to gather a little bit each time you go into a zone. Um, you don't want to, it's not a good thing to run by resources if you, um, if you can gather them. Oh, there is no fall damage by the way, yet. I don't know if they're planning on adding that. Um, but you kind of want to gather a little bit each each run you'll find if you stop gathering something and Yet when you need it, you'll realize oh crap. I ran by that thing five times and I didn't pick it up I could have already had it All right, so and then there's goats. So these goats are annoying if So if you notice this one, it's got kind of a green hue now if I get in front of it watch what's gonna happen It's gonna try to it's just gonna keep here, Come here. No Get back here. So, they're kind of hard to hit sometimes because they got a really small hitbox. There we go. So you kill it, but it will get back up and start walking around. And so you got to be careful not to keep killing the one you've already killed because you won't get any loot from it. So, and that right there is a pretty good sign. All right, so watch what happens. Ah, come on, hit me. Hit me, bro. Okay, so if you're in front of them, So when I want him to do it, I can't get him to do it. Here we go. All right, that's it, you're dead. Okay. 
So anyways, if you do get in front of them, they're gonna run into you. And when they run into you, they're going to headbutt you. And when they headbutt you, you will not be able to get your attack off because the way the, ta the um, combat works is you're locked in your animation. And if your animation gets interrupted, you get interrupted and you get kind of like you kind of slump over from taking the hit so like when something hits you it's impactful it, it's going to mess up your rotation and stuff so the game is really about positioning and timing so it, it's a little bit more skill than just tab target and unload your abilities um, or even even some of those games can be pretty complex where you're going to unload your abilities in a certain order which that is true for this game because you need certain combos but um, with this game, it's it's a little a little bit different because in the fact that you don't need um, you don't need to worry about um, the tab targeting. It's all about positioning. Um, it's probably the best meaningful combat I've had. So like with the chain blades, they're really light and fast. So I don't have a lot of downtime on my animations. They're quick. They're precise. I have a a lot of time that I can get out of the way of the behemoths so I don't die um, and now I'm kind of getting into other stuff but let me get back to gathering so yeah so when you go to the island you want to gather Ooh, I did forget to show you this so on your five you have an airship signal and then this right here toss that up and then if you notice let's see if I can see some so see these little leaves that are kind of eye level right above my guy's head that lets me know there's resources in that direction. So I run in that direction and look, there's the resource. Now, one thing you do have to balance is you can't kill the boss and then go back and gather resources. So if you queue up in a group, just expect them to gather maybe three or four things on the way to the boss. Then they'll start throwing off their flares, which my flare looks like this. There we go. So if I had a group in here, which I queued solo, so it's a solo instance. If I had a group in here, we'd be throwing these flares off saying, okay, let's get this boss started. Um, you cannot go back and gather after you kill the boss. So you gotta make sure you've done all your gathering. So if you're in a zone to gather, like maybe shot class, which is a little bit more difficult to gather, um, then what you wanna do is you wanna gather like two or three. And then when you don't see any obvious ones around, then go to the boss. I mean, they, they can't kick you right now. There's no vote kick system. There's no system at the end of the fight where they can give you bad karma or anything like that. And really, just as long as you're on the boss um, halfway through um, the first round, I guess there's, most bosses have two rounds, unless you've got a really high DPS and high damage uptime. Um, you know, as long as you're ha there halfway through, nobody's really going to complain. And also, you can't really see them complain because you can't read chat and type in chat half the time. So again, all things that they're working on, um, which in some cases it's kind of good that you can't read chat because it keeps people from being douchebags. All right, so see, if I want to continue farming, all of those leaves would give me farming. Now, if you notice, the music changed. That means the boss is aggro. That means the boss is ready to kill you. So we're gonna go over here though and see if I can get this last farm off before the boss gets to me. So he's slowly lumbering over to get me. I think I need to turn the volume down just a smidge. Which at this point, I'm gonna do a shriek for the next part of the video. So I'm pretty much done. Welcome Black Slayers. I said black, didn't I? You did. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's do this over again.